everybody. Is it comfortable where it is? Yes, perfect. Good. A very good evening to you. Welcome to the last of alternative right here on your beacon on PlayStation Wave 91.7 FM. Um, well, today is going to be different, and your last week will end up with worship. I'm eager to know what we have for today. So let me introduce you to the pastors in the house this evening. A very good evening to you, Pastor Berichi Kemai Squire. Good evening, my dear sweet sister in law, Pisa. Good evening, Otaka. Good evening, Alex. And we also have Pastor Chukwu in the house. Good evening, Good evening, Pisa. Good evening, Garden City. Good evening, Otaka. All right, what do we have for this evening? Okay, um, I'm so excited to be here today. Well, I don't know, when we start today, I get excited by this time. Oh, yes, before we go ahead, uh, happy birthday to you in Arias. Yeah. Arias, the last Arias. time you were here, you didn't mention, but within <laughs> the week, you had your birthday, so happy birthday to you in Arias. Thank you, you know, we bless and keep you for each and every one that sent a message to our victim, to show us Yes, you have a blessing to keep you. You have a short name. You are now on radio to do your always work with effort. Oh, today we will be discussing why Apostle Paul will continue that, but in on under his sub theme. We will be discussing the anointing service, the anointing oil, and the anointed in the gospel of grace. We'll be discussing the anointing service. No, we have a, Anointing service, anointing service, anointing service. We're going to special anointing service. You know, the beginning of the year, they say they have anointing service. Quarter of the year, they have anointing service. So, see you start, which I will not see you. <laughs> then, sometimes, end of the year, number of months, you have anointing service so that we will not die of accident. It is, wow, yeah, we will help us. So, we're discussing the anointing service, anointing oil, was the place of the anointing oil in gospel of grace, was the place of the anointed. And under that subtopic, we'll be discussing Peter, James, John, and Jude. We're not talking to <laughs> Peter, Apostle Peter, in the book of First and Second Peter, Apostle James in the book of James, Apostle John in the book of First and Second John. And also in Revelation, because that was before John wrote that. And Jude, our brother Jude, they were not talking to him. Wow. It's going to be serious. Today we'll be looking at the book of James because we'll find that is where, you know, why, why are we starting with James? Ordinarily, we should start with Peter, but we should start with James because we are, the subtopic we're looking at is the anointing. The anointing oil and all that because if you look at the book of James chapter 5, let's go to James 5, 15 and 16. Let's see that <coughs> position. James 5, 15 and 16. It says something you know, James 5, verse 14 says, Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Is any sick among you? Oh, he say, anointing oil is not how it is. No, it's in the book of James. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Who actually are the elders? The old men are aware that they are going to do that. Eh? And let them pray over him. When the elders pray over that person, what the kind of elders we are seeing now, now can, they, can they be the elders the Bible is talking about? In the, the kind of elders we have in our church is assembly. And then you think these are the same elders that Jesus is talking about? <laughs> Why do you say that? Um, I doubt because I, I'm sure elders here should promote um, um, right knowledge. Of course, yeah, of course. No, not with this one. Only with this one. Only with Bugari. Yeah. You know, taking stuff with Bugari themselves. No knowledge. So continue, my brother. And let them pray over him. So let the him. elders pray over that person. Anointing him with oil. Anointing the person with oil. In the name of Sure. And the name Yahushua sure Hamashiach, and what will happen? And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of faith shall save the sick. Wow. That is in this Bible. Someone will say that is in the Bible. Let me stop. So I'm, I'm saying that um, what is the place of anointing oil in, in the 
of grace. So I want to say, no, in the New Testament, James chapter 5, verse 15, it is there. If there's anyone that is sick around you, let him call for the hell of the church. Let them pray for him. And let him oil and the prayer of faith will heal the sick. Wow. But that scripture is in direct reference to the book of Mark 16. That, let's look at it. Mark 16, 13. Mark 16, 13. That scripture is in direct reference to Mark 16, 13. Whoa. Mark 16, 13 says, what did, what did he say? 16, 13 says, and they went and told it unto the residue. Matthew 6, Ma, sorry, Mark 6, 13, 6, 13, not 16. Mark 6, 13. Mark 6, verse 13. Okay, so yeah, 6. Mark 6, verse 13. Six thirteen says, and they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and who, healed them. Who are these people that were doing these things? Now, for you to have an understanding of what was happening there, read from verse seven. Verse seven says, yes, Mark to the six from verse seven, and he called unto him the twelve yes. and began to send them forth by two and two. Was James among the twelve? Yes, James was among the twelve. Continues. And gave them power over unclean spirits. Gave them power over unclean spirits. And, com and commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, save a staff only, no script, no bread, no money in their purse. But be shod with sandals and not put on two coats. And he said unto them, In what place soever ye enter into a house, there abide till ye depart from that place. Joshua was saying to the apostles, the twelve of them, and James was part of them. Continue. And who One minute, James was there, Peter was there, there. there. John was there, John the Beloved, and the rest of them continue. Paul was not there. Paul was not there. And whosoever shall not receive you mm -hmm. nor hear you, mm -hmm. when ye depart, then shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Mm. And they went out and preached that men should repent. Mm. And they cast out many devils mm -hmm. and anointed with oil many that were sick. Put your hand there. Now read, go back to the book of James chapter 5, 14 and ask yourself if it is not the same thing James was doing when the apostle sent him that he's just in here. James was repeating Mark chapter 6 verse 13 in James chapter 5 and 14 to 16. He just lifted that there and brought it over here. Actually, James, how do we know what James was actually admonishing the tribes of Israel, admonishing them in the way that they would go as they were going along. How do we know that James was not talking to me? Now you put go, you go there, then you go so put your hand, go to James chapter 5. James 5. Yes, are you there? Go to 14. Read it again. 14 says, Is any sick among you? Any sick among you? Let him call for the elders. The elders church, of the church. Yes. And let them pray over him, anointing him with oil. So can we say the elders at that point in time were the twelve apostles that were anointed with oil they were sick in the book of Matthew? Matthew 16. Okay. Put your hand there. Go to the book of James chapter 1. Your five, your ten fingers are working. James one. James chapter one. Yeah. Your ten fingers should be somewhere. James chapter one. Now, because we want to make a distinctive difference and distinction between Apostle Paul's gospel and James' gospel, Apostle James, to make you understand that you should not put yourself where Yahweh has not put you. That James will talk to you. Read the book of James chapter one, start from verse one. The op the the the, the opening of the book of James, the first chapter. James 1 1 says, mm. James, a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Now, James was speaking to the 12 tribes which were scattered abroad. So, please, I'll give you 30 seconds to tell me. Key question. If James was speaking to the 12 tribes, which tribe would he give Yeah. James is talking to you. Tell me your tribe from the 12 tribes. Are you? This is actually the 12 tribes of Israel. So tell me your tribe from the 12 tribes. 
is of Israelite, so I am not, I'm not an Israelite. So if James was writing to the 12 tribes of Israel, and you are not an Israelite, why will you enlift things from James' gospel? I want to apply them. James was, see, the problem is that is either we are ignorant of this truth or we, are, we, we have not paid attention to them. The book opens James chapter 1 verse 1. James, an apostle of the Messiah, writing to the 12 tribes of Israel. The 12 tribes is not hidden. It is written in black and white. And somebody, okay, if you can't find your tribe, we have to go further. Let's distinguish. Now, let's hear what Apostle Paul says. Now, I want to tell you what Apostle Paul has said. I will not say what I, Pastor, I, I, James said. They will not take a position. Let's go to the book of Romans 4, 5. Apostle Paul said in the book of Romans 4, verse 5, he said, But him that, that walketh not, but believeth on him that justified him, his faith is counted for righteousness. Verse 6. He said, Even as David also described the blessedness of a man, unto whom Yahweh imputed righteousness, Without works. Apostle Paul said this, number one, one point. Number two, Apostle Paul said in the book of Ephesians 2, 8 to 9, he said, For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yes. yourselves, it is a gift of Yahweh. It is a gift of Yahweh. Now let's look at a, the reference that's given to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5. Let's look at that. Ephesians 2, 5. Ephesians 2, 5. Yes, it says, Even when we were dead in sins, the dead in sin had quickened us together with Christ. Mm. By grace, we are saved. So you were in sin, and you were saved by grace, not of your works, lest any man should boast. Now, Apostle Paul also said in the book of 2 Timothy 1, like 1 9, he said, Who had saved us and has called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace which was given us in Christ the Messiah before the world began. Before the world began. Apostle Paul also said in the book of Romans 3.20 to 22, he said, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in the sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. 21. He said, But now the righteousness of Yahweh, without the law, is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophet. 22. He said, even the righteousness of Yahweh, which is by faith of Yahushua the Messiah, unto all and upon all of them that believe it, for there is no difference. This number one, one, two, three, four, this is the sixth scripture. Apostle Paul said in the book of Titus 2, 3, verse 5, he said, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. What, what are all these saying? That we are saved by grace without works. Now, Apostle Paul also said in Galatians 2.16, he said, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahushua the Messiah, that we might be justified by the faith of the Messiah and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh, capital letter no, shall no flesh be justified. Now, what is the essence of the scripture? Apostle Paul is very clear on the position of salvation and eternal life, imputed without works. As Apostle Paul is saying clearly, man, with all these things that salvation and eternal life comes to you without works. You cannot read the book of James and think it, and think that Apostle Paul and James are saying the same thing. The words, the words of James and that of Apostle Paul cannot happen at the same time. Because they are conflicting. We're going to see that shortly. You see what James has said? You see what Apostle Paul has said? We'll go to what James said. He said, and most Christians are either ignorant of it or have not paid close attention to it. Apostle Paul is preaching a gospel that is faith apart from your works, which is conflicting what James is speaking. That faith without works is there. According to Apostle Paul, you cannot have works and you cannot have works and faith at the same time as Apostle Paul. It is, it is purely a gift. Now, what is he saying? He said you cannot do anything in the dispensation 
to either force God to release anything. What Apostle Paul say that in the dispensation of grace, you cannot do anything to help God to do anything. Example, maybe you see I'm involving the tithing, um, sowing seed, first fruit, vow, charity pledge, praying violent prayer, ascetic prayer points, and all like this. That you cannot, there's nothing you can do to add to help grace to stand. That grace is grace. It's either it is grace or it is works. That completely, Apostle Paul's position is that completely you are saved. And why is this? Colossians 2.20. Colossians 2.10, sorry. Why is this position of Colossians 2.10? We'll be giving the last passage today for questions. So like I share a testimony of some brothers that um, that come. Colossians 2.10. Let's hear what Colossians 2.10 says. Colossians 2.10. He said, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principalities and power. The new man in the dispensation of grace is complete in the Messiah. So he doesn't need anything, he doesn't need to push God to. If you see the scriptures we read, he said, These things were Yahweh has before the foundation of the world. Now, now let's see Apostle, let's see Apostle James' position and see the clarity of his position. Let's go to James chapter 2, verse 14. James 2 14 says. What doeth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he had faith and have no works? Hello? Uh, James is saying, what will it profit you if a man will say, I have faith, I don't have works? He said, can faith save him? It's a question. James is asking this question. Yes. What is the answer to that recognition question to James? Go to verse 17. The 17 answered that question. He said, even, even so, even so let me hear. if it had not works, is there being alone. So now the faith James is talking about cannot stay alone. He needs help. Is that one that needs seeding, sowing, go helping, holding? It can't stand alone. He said, even so, faith, if it had not works, is dead be alone. So in verse 17, okay, let me hear you. It says, Yea, a man a man may say, Let's continue. Thou has faith. That's verse 18. I have works. Mm. Show me thy faith without thy works. And I will show thee my faith by my works. That scripture, go, now go to go to James 3:18. Let me show you. Go to James 18 first. 3:18. Yeah, just go to 18. Let me show you something. Then I'll show you something else. James 3:18 it says, and the fruit. Of righteousness is shown in peace of them. James 3 13, sorry. James 3 13. Mm. Who is a wise man and endured with knowledge mm. among you? Mm -hmm. Let him show out of a good conversation mm -hmm. his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envy. So let's stop there. Now, verse 18 is a direct contradiction to Romans 3.20. Romans 3.21, Romans 3.28, Romans 4.5, Ephesians 2.8 and 9, Ephesians 2.5, 2 Timothy 1.9, Titus 3.2, Galatians 2.16, and Romans 4.5. Is either the Bible, there's a mistake, or something is wrong. Look at verse 18 again, of, of James chapter 2. James 2.18 says, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, yes, and I have works. Mm -hmm. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. That contradicts Romans chapter 3, verse 20. Mm. What does Romans 3 20 say? Therefore, the Therefore by the by deeds the of the law yes, shall no flesh, flesh be justified in, in the sight of in, 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 in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. 22 says, 21 says, but now the righteousness of Yahweh without, without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law of the prophet. 22. Even the reign of God, which is which is by the faith, by your short desire, without without all and upon all that believe it, for there is no difference. Now that is look at also Romans 4, 4, 4, 5. Romans 4, 5 says, But to him that walketh not, but believeth on him. That justified the ungodly. Mm. His faith is counted for righteousness. But Romans 
James what chapter James? 2 18 is saying, uh, if faith without works is dead. So what is happening? Go go back to Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. Direct contradiction. That means they are fighting. James and Apostle Paul, they are fighting. They are holding their dagger. They are daggers drawn. James 2 verse. You're with James 2 verse. I'm sorry, Ephesians, chapter 2, Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2, 8 to 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, mm. it is the gift of God. Yes. Not of works. Not of works. Lest any man should boast. This one say, it is, uh, hold, put your hand there. James 2, 18 is saying it must be of works. So there's something, the Bible is fighting. There's a problem. Now go to Ephesians 2, 5. What does it say? Ephesians 2, verse 5. Yes. It's saying, even when we be are dead in sin, they hear that kind of have quickened us together with Christ. You are dead. No work. You can't do any work. By grace, we are saved. I, now go to 2 Timothy 1 9. Put your hand there. 2 Timothy 1 9. No hands to work today. 2 Timothy 1 9. 2 Timothy 1 9 says. Hmm. Who had saved us and called us with an holy calling, yes. not according to our works, but according to his own purpose but and grace. You but a pastor, but James 2.18 says by works. Which one would I believe? Is the Bible in contradiction of itself? Is there a mistake? What is happening? One Bible. You are holding that one. You are still thinking about it. You go to Titus 2, 2 5. Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul is saying a different thing. James, come to boy. See my own. I will talk my own here. James is saying a different thing. What is happening here? Titus 3 5. Now, these are the things that atheists, unbelievers, see. Without proper understanding they think the Bible is a mistake. There's no. That's why we're here to correct their anomalies. Not uh, Titus 3 5. Yes. yes. Not by works of righteousness. Not by works of righteousness. Which we have done. Yes. But according to Wait, his message, Titus said not by work of righteousness. Hmm. James chapter 2 say it must be by works. Now there must be works. This one says there's no works. Continue. But according to his mercy. He saved us mm. by the washing of regeneration mm. and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Go to Galatians 2 16. But well, that is in contradiction, is contradicting it, 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 the contradiction is so is so large. Galatians, James chapter 2, verse 18. Go to Galatians 2 16. Galatians 2 16. Galatians 2 16. Galatians 2 16 says, yes. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, hold it. But James is saying that you must show the law. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahshua the Messiah, hmm. even we have believed. In Yeshua, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ. Lastly, go to Romans chapter four, verse five. We don't mind. And not just. by works of the law. Not by works of the law. Go to by the works. Lastly, go to Romans four, five, so that we can now we will continue with the book of James. Romans four, five. Romans four, five says, "But to him that walketh not, to him that walketh." This one that I left it last because. He's doing it somehow. To him that is not working. Somebody did for house. They just put a name for this. You know those days, you know, we used to go for eye make work. Some people were working in the field, you know. And some people will be at home, they just put their name and they give a kind of they say, some people like the field, what are they shooting them going? What's up on that? You are just at home. And you see my last. <laughs> you are not working. I remember the other time Habib was in front of us. They sent him, he walked and walked and tore his clothes and was in the bush. The people were at home, they didn't walk, they got a lot. Him that was walking. He didn't see his money to do this. <laughs> so the question is that, 
to him that read that scripture again. Take it easy. He said, but to him yes. that walketh not, to him that walketh not, okay. but believeth on him. He just believes, say, I get guy, I get guy with him here. I'm not working with my guy, I get my, my guy. The guy, the, the guy is the one that has the list of people that work and don't work. But some people are working in the field, though, he just have a guy. And he has your details. He has your, they call it Azar. He has your Azar. Continue. But believe it on him that justified you. God. You just believe in the guy that is there. You know, you are, you are at home, man. In the house. But there's a guy, your guy. You just believe as in the guy, the, the guy can do. The guy, the, the guy can show what. You believe that the guy can deliver. What happened with the go where she see that thing? I think I think that kind of position. Where have you seen? He, the man that said I leave that thing, I'm a guy. They are waking up by six o'clock. Maybe you have gone for this uh, NYC activity. They are waking up by five o'clock to go and bath. You sleep. But who you have man? They go soon. This are my people who go soon flogging. He said, "I'm a guy. Leave my guy because he doesn't know your guy." Then they call the hostel. They are reading your name for your body. But you are sleeping, bro. For to him that walketh not. And you, just, is this scripture is. Is a this scripture settles a lot of things. This is what salvation is all about. But James is taking a different position. James said, No, you must have faith and I must see our work. Yeah, you must qualify and go work for the work. When you go work, you come back and your cloth is dirty, you have suffered, they have beaten you, they have flogged you. I will now say, Okay, therefore, they have taken flog. But Romans 4 is taking a different position. He said, but to him that walketh not, to him that walketh, but believeth on him that justified the ungodly. But believeth on Yahushua Hamashiach that justified the ungodly. His faith is counted for righteousness. His faith, now be the azar. Oh boy, there's no. But James is saying that your faith is a lie. James is saying your faith is show war. James in seventeen he saying he said even so faith, if it had not no works, is dead, being alone. James say in James two seventeen they say the faith is lonely lonely faith lonely faith that lonely faith can not give you anything but on the other side they say oh boy you don't just have faith you don't need to be lonely or not to be lonely and those who were teaching us high faith weak faith long faith long faith short faith God kind of faith man kind of faith they leave all those things. just have the faith just have faith. No, no, don't see, see, see. Don't have faith. Have faith in him that justifies. Just believe in the guy, Yahushua Mashiach. And your belief in him is all that matters. The song that says all that matters is all that matters. He is all your faith in him is all that matters. Now let, let, let's continue. Let's go to verse 20 of James. Let's continue. Verse 20 says, but we are reading we are James 2:20. Let's continue verse James 2:20. He says, but with he but with them know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead. James 2 20 and 25. He said, Faith. He said, But will that will that know, O vain man? Meaning that, oh boy, you don't know. James is saying that, you know, don't you know that faith without works is dead? Now, if you read down, and I'll give you give you example of Abraham and all that. Yes. Now go to the conclusion of the matter. James, this James position of salvation. Look at verse 24. Ye see then how that by works a man is justified. This is heresy. And not by <laughs> faith only. Who is it? Can you imagine? This um, Apostle Paul is saying that a man is justified by faith alone. James is saying a man is justified by works, but act, but act, not he faith alone. He must act something. That is two. So the question you ask yourself now, now this is what I call. Is a direct contradiction of Galatians 2.16, Romans 3.20 to 22. Direct contradiction, no story. This will call exam focus. It's not an exam focus. James, see the, see the question now. James 2.24 and Romans 4. Let's compare both. Just look at James 24 and look at Romans 4.5. Let's look at that. Discuss. If you even like read down, you see this. There's not like throwing more. Let's just let's just let's let's look at James two twenty four. Read it in read it in line with Romans four five. Discuss in the light of dispensational division. Hmm. These assignments. 
if you are listening to me wherever you are, tomorrow is service. If you, your pastor listens to you, go and meet him. See, pastor, there are some people on radio. I don't understand what they are saying. From the scriptures they are citing, like this James 2 24 and Romans 4 5. Both of them are saying two different things. Pastor, just a good. But be careful because you can be seen beating. <laughs> People will call exam focus. Now, there are only three positions you can take regarding this issue. Just three alone. Hello? All right. There are only three positions you can take. Yeah. No, okay, I think we should. Please, can we open the line to hear or should we continue? Let's continue. Because it's too. There are only three positions you get from this. There are three positions. There are, three, there are only three positions. Number one position is the condemnation position. What does that mean? That is to say that Apostle James is right and Apostle Paul is wrong. The first position is saying, like say said, James is right and Apostle Paul is wrong. Because if you You can get thoughts like James wrote his book to correct Apostle Paul's error. Now, after Apostle Paul, don't write the mistake because Apostle Paul came before James. You have Apostle Paul, yeah, from, his, from his works, came before James, you know? Yeah. So, when First Corinthians and all that, so maybe as Apostle Paul was writing this, making a mistake, James on the other side, he looked at the book, the arm, said, This is my, let me correct you now so that you don't. That is one position. Hmm? So, if you take that position, then you are. Discountenancing the gospel of grace of God, the mystery gospel, because Apostle Paul is the chief proponent for the mystery gospel, and in that mystery gospel bears the salvation for the Gentiles. So if we see Apostle Paul is is the one making this uh, James correcting it, it means there's no salvation. Hello. Right. <laughs> now what Peter, James, and John, the big three, are simply saying, their 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 contention is that. Faith in time works. Then my brother, you must have faith about hard work to join us. Work must join your faith. If not, your faith is not nowhere. Faith cannot start alone. That's what they are saying. Now, the second position, meaning works plus faith give you salvation. That is why we, we have it in our churches. Now, you see, after you come out, that's their position. After they give you to Christ, you what I call, after the water call, they will not have what we call baptism class. They now have to help the feet because the feet cannot start alone. Help it. They now have baptismal class to hold the feet so you don't fall, so they don't backslide. After that, they now give you some materials. After they now baptize you. After baptizing you, they now there's nothing they do. So they now send you to deliverance. You know, there's one man, man of God I respect so much. He said, he said, God bless you. Oh, yeah, we show this. He said that you cannot. Be born again without going to deliverance. After you are born again, they will not send you to deliverance. They will not deliver you from foundational power, household enemy. We will not do that. They will not tell you that it's not like that. Too. Do you know the, the mistake they will not give you? See, this is what Satan is the pastor. They will tell you that um, people like all these pastors that do where his father was a pastor. His father don't fight all the demon, 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 demon. So he is now, he's now riding on this. Thing. Your father was a almost worshiper. So they have to your foundation. Your foundation. You have to be digging your foundation. Digging your foundation. Digging your foundation. That's hard for you. Who gave them that story? What on earth is that? Hello? Alright. So, the second position here you can take, the second position you can take is the confusing position, which most of us are, are familiar with. The confusing position is that they are both right. And they are both talking to you. The first position is that Apostle Paul is wrong. James, the condemnation position, James is correcting him. The second position is that Apostle Paul is right too because it's in the Bible. James is right too because it's in the Bible. Both of them are easy to talk to. Take the one you want to take, give the one you want to leave. The Bible will take. Have you not heard that kind of thing before? No. You are, you are, you are arguing the Bible. Mm-hmm. You are arguing the Bible. Have you heard that kind of thing before? Don't argue the Bible, no. They'll just eat. They'll walk. <laughs> Don't argue the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's not, it's not in the Bible. That's the second position. That is saying, he said, 
He said, either James is expanding, is that is either James expounding Apostle Paul's writing, or like taking talking about uh let me put it this way. James is Apostle Paul is that when you get um Apostle Paul's position is that you just get saved instantly. Then James told is that after you get saved, you have to do some work to sustain the salvation. So that's the second position, which is the work I talked about the first time. Salvation class, baptism, deliverance school, or putting additional power and all that. See, or, or that Apostle Paul and James are saying the same thing, and there is no contradiction at all. To the position that you are, they'll say you are the one that doesn't understand this. Have you not seen this kind of people? They say, no, like, you, you are the one that is twisting it. That Apostle Paul and James are saying the same thing. <laughs> that you don't, you can Have you not seen this kind of people? And most of them are the ones that come to do evangelism. They will come and tell you that you are saved by faith. But after that, after they tell you, you have to stop stealing. <laughs> Immediately they after you, they say you have to stop giving this, you have to stop doing A, X, Y, and Z. But they said you are the spirit. They tell you that get saved. They say it's by faith. Now, the same people that say it's by faith, they are not adding works. And they'll be going round and round and round. Forgetting that salvation for Apostle Paul's audience is different for salvation for James' audience. Now, the third and last position is the correct position. Hello? That position doesn't say both of them are correct. The third position is saying that both of them are correct. But the difference is that both of them are speaking to two different audiences. The third position is both of them are correct, but both of them are speaking to two different audiences. Just like James chapter 1 opens up his audience. James chapter 1 tells you he is writing letter to. Apostle Paul is the uh, Romans chapter Romans 11 verse 30. I'm putting the Gentile my office. So Apostle Paul is for the Gentile. Apostle Peter is speaking, uh, mm-hmm. Apostle James is speaking to the Jews. Right. The Jews travel Israel, according to James 1, verse 1. No, the question is, how can I be so bold to come up with this kind of thing? What gave me this level of latitude to not come up and be saying that the third position is the right position? The reason is that the Bible is the standard. That is the reason why we talk about dispensation. Dispensation helps you to understand who is speaking, to whom is he spoken to? Am I in that audience. audience? James chapter 1 gives you an audience. The 12 tribes. Most of Apostle Paul's book, Apostle Paul says the apostle of the Gentile, he magnifies his office. So now, the salvation for the Gentile church and the salvation for the, Jew, for the Jewish church it's quite different, but they are going to the same place. So if we have taken a position here that James is not speaking to you, then please, can somebody tell me why you go on Sunday and have a nineteen service and you buy Goya oil and carry up oil now has not become scarce commodity. Oil has not become scarce commodity. People are making money with anointing oil. They will have the anointing oil. You carry oil that is in good fine egg and good egg, oil that is SID, and you raise it up. And they say, is now, they are not only oil. What do they call it? Not oil. And people will not carry that air up on their forehead and think that they are saved and they are protected. You know, what do you have to say about this? If, God, if, if, he, if James has said that he's talking to the 12 tribes. Your pastor that is raising the oil, is he part of the 12 tribes? No. Yes. You that is kind of part of the 12 tribes? No. Why are you embarrassing the body of Christ? Do you know it is an insult for you to carry oil to stain Yeshua? Because if indeed you are in the Messiah, that means Yeshua, you are in him. You are staining Yeshua with that oil. Okay, now let's take it now. What is the purpose of the anointing? That's the anointing. Oil. Yes, in the in the in the in the prophetic. The purpose of the anointing in prophetic was to separate a man. We want to make a king to separate, to consecrate, to consecrate for his father's use. 
Consecration is the right word. And what other consecration is bigger than the consecration when you are in Yahushua? You are not just in Yahushua. And what is okay? What is the content and the component and uh, what makes the anointing oil anointing oil? It's not the Holy Spirit that makes the anointing oil. And that Holy Spirit that makes the oil anointed oil or anointed oil, that Holy Spirit is what has sealed you according to Ephesians chapter 1, 12 and 13. So why would I be sealed with the Holy Spirit, the original thing? And I go and carry Goya oil. I'll be staining myself, stain, stain in the clean. Sometimes they'll pour your oil, your body. Pour oil, let's say they are going to carry it to jar. Pour, I saw the old post and they pour the oil, they pour it, say, from the skirt. I just, I don't, I don't understand. Oh my God. And mind you, one of our Jews in this town is in America, in the hospital. So we should pray for him this morning. The question I asked a friend of mine that said that says that could not want to finish. Who could not want to finish. Or is it still remaining? So it means that there's a place of a doctor. He actually he, he has the position of saying that. That is why I like him because he's a plain man. The man don't be gay man. The man is stood for. He goes see as he be so boy. See how. But some of these ones, they will say they are going for vacation. They go and stay a cardiologist in the U.S. They are going for vacation. Giving the people the men that drink anointing oil. There's a man that a friend of mine, I won't mention his name, they gave anointing oil to drink. Go. So he went to do a test. They said the oil that enters is blood. Stream. The oil you non you chase him is from a creature. Non you pursue him. Flog him. They will give anointing oil, you will drink it to pursue the non Jew spirit, the spirit of non Jew and the other, the other name. You no, know, because that is what we say. That is what they told me. You know, have you seen the man that has that crisis? The challenge is that, you know, I live close to where we, I'm, I'm surrounded by five churches. And the, things, the kind of things I see these people do today, a pregnant woman was coming. She doesn't know where she wants to go. On that side, they are shouting, thunder, Holy Ghost, fire. On that side, so she was confused. So I got to that, to come, is this? <laughs> and I beckon her, come to this other side, because she was confused with her. She will enter here, or you can, what am I trying to say? The, the masses are, they are feeding on stuff. That is not so good. That's a, um, who said that? That's Solomon. He said, too much knowledge wants to make you mad. So let's open the phone lines now. The question I want to ask, anybody that asks me, the question I want to ask on air, we have a gift for that person. Why will I have the Holy Spirit, be still the Holy Spirit, according to Ephesians chapter 1, 12, 13, and 14, and now still go and carry anointing oil to state myself? That's what we all right, and lastly, you. don't forget. Don't forget. Most people take the position they have taken because not because they not because it's either a pastor has taken a position that they respect and they're taking that position of the pastor. But I want to remind you, you should not forget your Because you wrote books and wrote messages on Titan, seeding. Fast fruits and all that. But it's not telling you to bond them. So it means that if the Bible is not your standard and the position you are taking, you are on your own. You are on a journey. You are called self cruise. Let's open the line. All right, it's time for you to be a part of the show. Call us up with your questions, your comments, and your contributions. 09 